This is the Tonu trash can, the next generation trash can that can do some things most trash cans can't, but it also comes with a hefty price tag. Today I'm gonna to find out if it really works. That's today's video. All right guys, this was something that was on Indiegogo last year. It's finally made it for sale for the general public. I got this on Amazon, 120 bucks. Here are the features. It has an infrared sensor. The sensor works up to 35 centimeters or 14 inches away. There is an overload feature that when it's full, it automatically detects it and it self seals and refills the bag automatically. The battery is supposed to last about a month. Plug it in back here, taking a closer look inside. That's what it looks like. It doesn't come with traditional bags. It comes with a special ring that you replace right here. Uh, currently the refills, they have two different types. They have recyclable and biodegradable. Uh, it's about 20 bucks for the recyclable and $30 for the biodegradable for 75 bags. We'll see about that. But what I wanna do now is see how it really works. I haven't even tried it out. I've charged it up. I plugged it in last night and charged it, so it's supposed to take 10 hours to charge. The first time I moved it, I accidentally hit that button. So it sealed an empty bag. I wasted one. Not happy about that. The obvious problem with this is that it's so small. It's only a four gallon trash can and it's 120 bucks. They're supposed to be coming out with a bigger one in 2020, but if this one's 120, what is the full size one gonna be? $200 or more? I don't know about that, but let's see how it really works. First thing I'm gonna do is turn it on. Nothing happened. I guess that's good. Let's just try the uh, motion detection. Oh, well that worked. Oh, and there is a light inside there. Let's try a few pieces of trash here. Well, that's kind of cool. But there are trash cans already that do that though. So that's not that impressive, is it? Let me try something bigger. Okay, it's the infrared sensor works pretty well. That's nice, but I'm not that impressed. I'm not $120 impressed. I might be $40 impressed, but they've got, still got about $80 worth of impressing to do for me. And that will come when it comes time to seal it up. I'm gonna throw some random trash in there. By the way, I do recycle. This is just for demonstration purposes only. All right. See what... Just digging trash out of here. I'm trying to get it overflowed here a little bit. Still going. All right, it looks like it's almost overflowed here. No, let's keep going. Oh, it's stuck to it. Oh, it's overflowed. So let me push this button, I think for three seconds. Oh, it's doing something. It did something and it stopped. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Now that is pretty cool. Oh, and it's doing something else. It's doing something else. Well, what did it just do? Oh, it's got a new bag. That is pretty cool. And look at this, totally sealed, ready to go. You know what? <laughs> I have to admit that actually worked. The fact that it sealed that up and then basically put a new bag in there is actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm impressed about that. Cause now I've got another bag ready to go. Now this is not a very big bag. It's not as small as maybe I thought it would be. If you compare it to like sometimes when you use these store bags, it's actually bigger than that. That's more capacity than this is. 
The way I understand the overload feature is that if it detects it being overloaded, it will lift up the entire top to seal it. But if it doesn't detect that it's overloaded, it will stay closed while it seals it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try this around the house instead of just sitting right here and using it. I'm going to put it in different locations, see how much I have to lean over to get it to start. Uh, I'll try to overflow it a couple times and, and have it seal itself. And then I'll come back after I get a better feel for it and let you know how it's going. So I guess it's time for this typical Freakin' Reviews montage. What is that, Bailey? What was that? What I want to do now is try a little speed test between the two of these. Old school, taking the bag out, putting a new one in. New school, letting it do everything for me. Let's try it out. That was almost a tie. Whoa. <laughs> now let's put the other bag in there. The, the geek factor is definitely there in this one though. As overpriced as it is and as unnecessary as it is, it's pretty fun for the gadget geeks out there. It's definitely something you can show off to your friends. And they get a full size one, it might actually be more useful right now. I don't think it's much faster than taking out a bag the old school way and putting a new one in there, but it's high tech. I guess that accounts for something, right? Maybe not. Well, I'm gonna use this for a couple more days and then I'll give you my final conclusion. All right, it's been a few days that I've been using this. And I've got a couple observations before I wrap this up. Number one, they say it's 35 centimeters for the infrared sensor to detect motion, I say it's a little bit less than that. Boy, 35 centimeters is about 13.77 inches. So right here, the very top of the screen is 35 centimeters or 13.75 inches. Not picking it up. All right, up here, I'm not getting it. Let me, go Let me keep going lower until I get something. All right, that was, that was eight inches, a little over eight inches. Up here though, at the 14 inch, nothing. I have to get lower, about 10, eight to 10 inches. Another feature that I kind of glossed over in the instructions when I first opened it up is they have an open lid mode where you press this button once and it'll stay open. Now all, that means all the odors will get back out, but they do have a mode that'll just stay open all the time. You just press it again to close it. If you press it and hold for three seconds, it'll automatically bag up the trash. One more thing I wanted to also mention is that the three LED lights in here are actually the charging indicator, but they're inside. You would think a charging indicator would be back here where you charge it, where you plug it in, where the power is, or back here, but in there are the LED lights to show when it's charging. I think that's a bit of a weird design feature. Sometimes I wonder if just having an old school foot pedal is better on a short can like this rather than having to reach down and try to get the infrared sensor to pick up your hand. All right, let's look at some of the pros and cons of this. The pros is that it works pretty much as they present it. It seals itself, it bags itself, it puts a new bag in there. The geek factor is very high. If you're a gadget person, you're gonna want this item to show off to your friends. Now the cons are kind of significant. It's expensive at 120 bucks for, and it's also pretty small, only four gallons. I'm not sure that's gonna be something that people are gonna wanna pay for just because of the size to the price ratio, even if it does have this interesting new feature to it. Another con is proprietary refills. That's something that you, there's no competition out there, so you're gonna have to buy it from them and they can charge whatever they want. Uh, the biodegradable ones are more expensive than the regular recyclable ones. I'm not really fond about that either. Maybe down the road, you'll get some, uh, some more options as far as the refills goes. I think another con is the fact that you have to lean over to get it to detect your hand for the sensor. And really, is it necessary to spend that much on a trash can that has a few cool new features? 
I'm not sure. It seems like the bags do hold a decent amount for how small the can is. And the battery seems like it's not really much of an issue and you can just plug it in anyways. If I was gonna give it a rating on a scale of one to 10, by itself, I'd probably give it about a nine. When you throw in the size and the cost, I gotta drop it down to about a seven. Overall, it works. I have no complaints other than the size and the price. I think when the size goes up and the price goes down, this is gonna be something a lot of people are gonna want. Until then, it's a bit of a novelty. But it's something I'm gonna keep using because since I have one, I might as well. Have you guys used this item? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews. Boom.